So would you just help us out and explain why this idea of short-term mission uh, has kind of, I guess, come under a bit of criticism, a bit of scrutiny uh, in, in recent years? Yeah, I suppose d- d- time times change, don't they? I think completely agree with what you were just, just sharing. You know, I think your, your hope and your prayer would be that people come back transformed, seeing a new region in a, in a new light uh, and uh, and... Uh, and changing their thinking and their praying and their giving for a particular particular area, um, but I think the question I'd ask after the short term mission is, what about the long term? What are you what are you leaving behind? Um, is is it going to have long term stability uh, after you've gone away, um, or is it on a bit of a circle where they're going to expect somebody else to come back in again uh, to do exactly the same? Um, but yeah, what what's the long term um, plan for these? Uh, short-term missions as it were what can we what can you do that's going to see a bit more long-term and you know increasingly so um uh you know people within their own regions are the are the the well the people are there you know the people that have got potential are there what are we doing to train them uh, and bring them on board uh, to do that mission work in their own country uh, rather than expecting uh people to come to them so would you say that there are benefits of, of, of these kinds of trips, or you say actually we just kind of need to end them all together? Well, no, definitely, there's definitely benefits to them. I think, um, uh, like I, like we were saying, I think if people go there uh, and get hooked up for that particular area or that particular area mission that they've gone to do, um, and they come back away saying, right, what, what do I do next, rather than just leaving it on the doorstep after the after the trip, if they come back home and say, right, um, that's really lit my fire for, for mission work uh what's what's next in my life in that and that they're open to god to um hear what that is then you know, that's a that's a huge plus <laughs> yeah so they obviously benefits not only to organizations who are on the ground ministries and so on but are, are, i guess benefits also personally for individuals that go out do you think spiritually yeah and i think probably we just need to be a bit that's one of the things you need to be a little bit careful on but yes definitely for, for them um, but yes, I think you've got to ask yourself what what uh, what are you going there for? Is is it for yourself spiritually, or are you there to support uh, a mission that's already there? Um, the answer can be both, but I think you just need to be conscious of the balance there. I think, don't you? Yeah, so helpful for us before we perhaps sign up to any kind of short term mission, just to ask ourselves some question: What is the reason we're going? What what is the expectation when we're there? But also, well, what are some of the the, the long term, I guess, kind of benefits? I mean, it, it, some people are dismissing saying of short-term missions a bit like kind of spiritual tourism. So do you think it would be helpful for any organisation that are going or church group that are going to embark on it to actually sit down and maybe have some kind of longer-term plan? Would that be one solution to this? Unit? I think, yes, it certainly it certainly would. I think, um, uh, you know, at Langham, uh, we uh, we uh, have programmes around the, around the world with our preaching programmes, uh, with literature work, with our scholars, um, and it could well be that you sort of say, okay, I'm going to X country. You know, what is Langham doing in that country or any other mission organization? But for me, Langham, uh, and what is it that we could plug into that's already happening uh, and support that and carry on supporting it after we've been to see the work and be part uh, part of it? Uh, so be that, uh, you know, sort of preaching clubs that we have around the globe um, and just seeing that happen and being part of that Um but then saying, okay, that we need to see that grow, but we can't stay here forever. Um, what can we do once we're back home to carry on seeing that work? Indeed. That work. Yeah. So it might be quite helpful if we could have some sort of, I guess, practical examples, either, you know, with a kind of success story of a short-term mission or maybe where, where one or something has fallen short. Have you got anything in mind that might sort of give us an example of, of, of a mission trip? Um, I can't think of a... Um, I mean, for me... Pers- personally, um, in uh, in in Langham, um, I was in Spain at the end of um, May, May. Time ticks on, doesn't it? At end of, mm-hmm. and I was there to see some of our preaching work. So I was there um, for four days, probably you know, really short term, um, and and that was just in- really encouraging for me. You know, for for me, that probably was relatively personal at the time just being there to go and see the work and seeing that uh, happening in uh, in spain but actually being in the preaching workshop and being part of that for a day um it just it blew my mind that the depth of the training uh, and what was happening um it just made me think 
back on my preaching career the last sort of 20 odd years, I'm not sure that I'd ever been part of anything so in depth as that. So for me, um, it's almost flipping the coin a bit, Maria, that I've come back and said, well, we, I need to be doing this in the UK, never mind <laughs> anywhere else. Um, uh, and it's really sort of sharp in my mind of, uh, you know, what is it that we can be doing ourselves? And I think it becomes closer and closer, doesn't it, where we are already seeing it, um, you know, sort of mission work in the in the UK. Um, so, um, so, yeah, personally, I think, like we were going back before, and you, we've just got to be really open to what we're going there for um, uh, and being aware of that. Um, but, yeah, really making sure that you've got a long-term vision for that or a long-term plan for that. And yeah, for me, it might not be the plan that you thought it might be, of course. <laughs> always, always, always God's plan, but not necessarily yours.